It's time for a struggle challenge. Let's see what you got for me today. Hey, Frankie, I somehow ended up with a whole bunch of ricotta cheese. Lucky you. I'd love your thoughts on how to use it up. Thanks in advance. P.S. Tell Piggy I love him. You hear that, Piggy? She loves you. All right, let's look in the fridge and see what you got. Da -da 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 -da. Exactly as I predicted, a lot of ricotta. It's creamy, it's delicious, and I love putting it in pasta sauces. I think I've got an idea on what I can do. Let's head over to the other fridge and see what other ingredients we've got. I got some eggs, I got some cheese, I got some butter, spinach. So I got some spinach. I'm gonna chop it up. We're gonna combine it with this ricotta. But you know what? I don't wanna make pasta because that takes a long time. There's this dish called nudi, which literally means like nakeds, implying, because it is, that it's the filling of a ravioli without the pasta around it. We really just need cheese and eggs to keep the filling together. Let's get started. We got some spinach here. We don't need much. I don't wanna squeeze as much liquid out of this spinach as I can. Let's chop up this spinach, our naked ravioli. And don't worry, this is safe for work. Spinach into our bowl. Throw that ricotta in with the spinach. Egg is our binder. So let's get that in there. Mixing egg with ricotta and spinach here, okay? I also think we probably need two eggs. Egg is like glue when it hits heat. Grate some cheese in here. And when I say some, I mean a lot. Mixing the cheese in. So I'm gonna keep going until this doesn't look so wet. So this is a good recipe to make if you've got a lot of ricotta cheese and you have a lot of Parmesan cheese also. This is looking good. I'm gonna kinda dry my hands out a little bit and I'm gonna try to make a ball here. Go right in the flour to sort of create a skin on the outside. That's a nudie. I could literally be making ricotta gnocchi right now, which hold together so much better. Something like that. Our nudie are ready. These are gonna go great with a brown butter sage sauce. Let me show you how to make that. Brown butter's delicious, but I feel like it's made even better with sage. Our water's also boiling, so let's prep that with some salt. The butter's melting. It's getting all foamy. So I'll throw some sage in here just to infuse the flavor, and I'm keeping my eye looking for that brownness. All right, you see some brown happening here on the edges? So at this point, I wanna stop it. So I'm lowering the heat pretty significantly, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of pasta water in here to lower the temperature and stop that butter from browning. Gorgeous. Here we are, into the water. I mean, it's holding its shape. Is it holding its shape? It's holding its shape. I'm pretty excited about it, so I'm gonna go in with the others. Oh, these are disintegrating. Oh, that one disintegrated. This is very bad. This is a catastrophe. Okay, I can fix this. I'm just gonna take some flour and I'm gonna put it in a bowl like this here. And then my remaining cheese in with the flour. I'm making such a mess. We're just gonna knead it right now. This is part of cooking. I mean, often things don't work and you gotta pivot. The struggle challenge is real. I'm very pleased with this ball. My nudie are turning into gnocchi. I think I'll make it work. And I'm really hoping that I can make something out of this. And these are just holding their shape so much better. And yet they still feel soft and subtle. Let's just throw a couple of these like this and lower them down. All right. Let's see what happens here. That's how they should be. All right, look, these are strong. Let's plate it up before we ruin what is right now perfection. We'll just hit it with a little, little cheese. Boom, boom, boom. This was about to become a total disaster. You saw those original nudie, they were flat, they weren't looking so great, but we recovered really well, but I do feel like I gotta dock some points for not doing it right the first time. So I'm gonna give it an eight five on looks. I'm gonna go for this one right here. Mm. It's cheesy, it's salty, and texturally, it's definitely more gnocchi than nudie. They don't taste so 
airy, light, and fluffy. However, they're not dense and they are delicious. So it's an eight on flavor. Eight plus 8.5 is 16.5. That is an 83%. That is a B minus. And those are the kinds of grades I strive for in improvisational cooking. Thank you for this challenge. It was definitely tough. I was in the weeds there for a second, but we live to see another day.